YouTube, what's going on? My name is Argon and I'm bringing you the final episode of my little series called How to Get More Kills in Call of Duty. Okay, so the reason why we're doing this and you see no gameplay is because the last episode has absolutely nothing to do with gameplay and, and strategies in-game. It has more to do with the hardware that you have for your gaming setup. So, the reason why I did this last is because it's the least feasible for you to implement right away, especially if you're younger and you don't have access to a lot of money and you know you have to save up for this type of thing. But in general, I want to go over the importance of the hardware that you have and how it affects your ability to play the game and be successful at it. So first and foremost, the most important piece of hardware that you can get quickly is a monitor. So the most important feature to a monitor is a, a, a specification called the refresh rate, which has to do with how quickly you see things on screen as they're happening. Um, it's not exactly the right specification, but it's the most important, like the easiest specification that you can find available to tell you the performance of a monitor. So, realistically what you want to be concerned with is a thing called input lag, which basically means when I input something on my controller, how quickly that is seen on screen. You just don't see input lag really um, displayed as a spec when you're looking for monitors. You see response rate, or re uh, yeah, response rate, um, and that's generally in the if it's actually displayed it'll be five to seven milliseconds or lower so one to seven milliseconds don't confuse this with refresh rate which is totally different thing look at, ref at response rate this is a not exactly a one-to-one -one measure of input uh, to input lag but it's a good uh, characteristic you want to be at five milliseconds or less of a, of a uh, response rate now if you're playing on a TV and you look at response rates for televisions, even when you put them in game mode or whatever modes that they say make them better for gaming, you're gonna be in the 30 to 50 millisecond uh, response rate. But a monitor is gonna be less than 10 and when they actually actually advertise that response rate, it's five milliseconds or less. That's a huge, huge impact. If you guys play on a TV, switch to a monitor, you'll instantly notice a difference, I promise. The next thing I wanna go over with you if you don't have one yet is a headset. Now, if you don't have a headset, you're missing out because having those earphones on and you can hear the sound real close in your ear, you're hearing so much more detail that you're not hearing otherwise if you're just playing off of television speakers or computer speakers. So if you're hearing, it just takes sound whoring to a whole new level. Trust me, just even plug in earbuds and you'll hear a big difference. Just having that sound quality. And the ones I have on screen here are the Astro A40 TRs. These are the ones I use. They have a mix amp which allows you to use surround sound which will totally change the game for you. But definitely look into headset if you don't have one. What you're seeing on the screen now, guys, is a scuff controller. Everybody knows what a scuff controller is. They've got the paddles on the back so that you don't have to move your thumb off the thumbstick so that you can jump and all sorts of stuff without actually having to change your aim. This will drastically help your gameplay as well because being able to aim while you're jumping and sliding and crouching, um, it will actually improve your ability to stay on target. Now I know that in the more recent Call of Duties, they've offered a stick and move or other type of layouts that you can use to counter having a scuff, which is good. So try that if you haven't yet, but definitely 100% make sure you're using that option because you never wanna be taking your thumb stick, your thumb off the thumb stick to do these advanced maneuvers that we've talked about in other videos. So definitely if you can get a scuff, get a scuff. Um, the reasons why there's pros to the scuff because they have that grip which you see on screen which just helps you hold the control a little better and they have trigger stops so when you're pulling on the right trigger it actually stops you without having to waste movement and still actually fire that's a pro a plus i know they're big investments if you don't have the money for it just stick with stick and move and you'll be all right the final thing you guys are seeing on screen is it's a uh, screen test, screen grab of my speed test. Um, I have really fast internet, guys. You see my ping, it's very, very low. Um, the reason for this is we play an online game and the amount of time it takes for you to transfer your data to the host and the host tells you what's going on on their end, you wanna limit that as much as possible. This ties directly into what we talked about the monitor with their input lag. You wanna reduce this as much as possible. In general, when you see a four bar on Infinite Warfare, that's probably up to 120 millisecond ping. So don't think just because um, you have a four bar that you have a strong connection. And if you're not familiar with what ping is, definitely look it up, but in a TLDR for you is, it's the amount of time it takes for you to send a signal and get a response back on that signal. So a four millisecond a ping, a four millisecond ping is extremely fast. And in this day and age, guys, when you're talking uh, time to kills are like 300 milliseconds. If you have a hundred millisecond ping, that's a that's a huge delay between you're shooting at somebody 
and you don't even send the information to the host that you're shooting, that guy, if he's got a fast internet, he's already shooting you before the host even knows that you're shooting at him. So think about that. And one last thing you definitely, definitely do not want to do is play on Wi-Fi. If there's any way that you can hardwire your PS4 or Xbox directly into a wall or the modem, that's going to make a huge difference. Wi-Fi is just unstable. It drops out. The signal's weak. Uh, it's definitely not ideal. Just don't do Wi-Fi. It's great for your phones and laptops, but not for gaming. Just remember that. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this mini-series. It was three episodes. I definitely missed last week. I apologize for that. In summary, we went through three things, how to get more kills in Call of Duty. The first one was quick techniques you can do in gunfights to help you win gunfights quicker. The second thing was strategies you can implement in-game that will help you position yourself better. And finally, we went over some hardware that you can look at to help improve your connection speeds and improve your abilities to uh, conduct the maneuvers that you want to conduct in game. I put these in this order because it's basically in the when in increasing difficulty to incorporate. The order that they go in is also in increasing effectiveness. So not always are you going to be able to drop shot and win all your gunfights because if you're in a bad position, you're going to get caught off guard. If you're in a good position, you don't always have to have good skill to be able to win those gunfights. And finally, if you have godlike internet, you've got a leg up on a lot of people so that's the order i put them in it was on purpose it wasn't unintentional so and anyways so i hope you did enjoy it if you did leave a like if you haven't yet don't forget to subscribe and if you're not following me on social media none of the links are on this page but you know how to get to them so anyways guys my name is argon and i'll see you next time peace